Hey, what's up? It's video 7, back after carnival break. Today we're just going to look at the changes in transport, internet, or telecommunications, in this case, internet, uh, in terms of the extension of links and nodes and the intensity of use at the national or global scale. And we're going to look at the global scale of the internet. So, the internet. This is a great website, Internet Live Stats shows how many internet users there are in the world. As you can see, that number is increasing. Just below here, we've got a graph. Looks like a little over 3 billion, I say a little over 3.3 billion people are currently using the internet. Okay, we call that internet penetration rate. It's wildly different depending on where you live, and we're gonna get into that in a minute. But you'll notice that over time that the internet penetration rate has increased to about 40% of the total global population in 2014. Okay, now where do we see changes in internet penetration rate? I can play this for you to start here. And you'll notice that much of the internet, when it first came out, was being used in the US and Europe. And then there's a few countries outside of that who were relatively quick to getting the internet. Um, there's still a lack of internet usage in Africa, in particular sub-Saharan and tropical Africa in southern Asia. Um, but the biggest thing to note is the number of users in China over time. So you'll notice that the total number of internet users in China is actually greater than the total number of internet users in the United States at at this point in time and this was in 2008 but you'll notice that 230 million internet users in 2008 in the US whereas almost uh, 300 million in in China okay how do we get the internet one of the things that blows my students minds the most is the fact that the internet is 99.9% .9 percent of all internet communication is through undersea fiber optic cables and the major links are between the United States and Europe, but ever increasingly, China has become part of the increasingly interconnected global society. And as a result, you'll see many links that are now uh, available in China. Back in 1901, this is a, an old undersea cables map. It was primarily just the United States and North America and Europe with very few links uh, out to Asia and to Africa, more into South America because of the United States connection there. But as you can see across the Pacific, far, far, far fewer in 1901 than there are today. So undersea fiber optic cables sending data at the speed of light. That's what moves the internet around the planet. That's pretty mind boggling. Okay, so uh, the internet, I hope this helps and I'll catch you next.